The Imperial's tricks are undone, but your stone city will still fall. Through Crow's eyes, I spy your weak defenses. These lands belong to the Reach, and we will soon sweep through. You don't need a Crow's eyes to see this. Use your own. Look north. If you do not spy my armies now, you will soon. Count your blessings, though. Death at a Reachman's hand is more merciful than enslavement at an Imperial's. The sooner your fate is accepted, the better we will all feel. I am queen of these lands, not that weak woman over there. Tell her the truth. After the city's sacked, I'm going to peck out her eyes. I hope you'll forgive me for being blunt, but under the circumstances, there's no time for social niceties. I am still in awe of what you've done to save the city, but did I just see you talking to a crow? So that's why all these crows have descended on the city? Gods, I knew it wasn't a coincidence. Fine, I'll give every guard a bow. I think it's time for us to do some bird hunting. First though, if you spoke to their leader, what did she say? I see, not really much of a surprise. The Reachmen are bearing down on North Glen already. We've already sent every soldier we can spare, but there's little chance of turning the tide of battle. Your presence there might make all the difference. Once you get there, I'm sure the Reachmen won't know what hit them. Look for Sergeant Antive in North Glen. He was just sent there, but with Captain Huron dead, he's one of my most senior officers. I suppose I'll need to give him a promotion. Sure, he could probably use some encouragement. Tell him I'm going to promote him to Lieutenant. Assuming we defeat the Reachmen, of course. Where are those scouts? I hope you're here to help me. Dureg and his Dark Witnesses attacked without warning. My best scouts go to gather information. Only two returned. Isabeth disobeyed orders to look for them, and now she too is overdue. What else could go wrong? Any help is welcome. Isabeth was last seen advancing toward the chapel to look for Hatmi. The scout's mission is to recover information and rescue civilians. We can't let the invaders reach Evermore. Take this concoction Elgeny made. It heals and conceals, according to her. If they're injured, they'll need it, but it only lasts so long. They must come here straight away, or risk the effects wearing off. Thank you for helping us. I'm really the one that should have gone back in, not Isa. Hotmi is my sister. Stendar, watch over them and bring you all back safe. Look here. If it isn't Strasnok's bane. Have you come down to lop off a few more Reachman heads? There are plenty to go around down these parts. Smart woman. Damn glad she's back in charge. Who'd have thought Duke Renshin was going to sell us all out? Guess he got what was coming to him. We've got Reachmen to worry about now. Captain Garecroft's in charge here. You should talk to him. I'm expecting you to come back here with at least a few Reachmen heads hanging from your belt. We can mount them on the city walls. I wonder what Captain Huron did with old Strasnok's head. We should get that one up there, too. No? Damn! Stupid Nord! He was in on Duke Renshin's plan, wasn't he? I had a feeling. Well, I guess he got what was coming to him. She said that? Well, I'll be an Argonian's uncle. I thought I'd be sergeant forever. Maybe I can afford that new mace after all. Assuming we beat the Reachman and the Queen stays true to her word. I trust her, though.
Reachman, Phil! You're no Reachman. Stendar's finally seen it fit to grant me a little mercy. He did? Not Isabeth? I'd hoped she'd gotten the others to the camp by now. She rescued a Weiris, and a villager named Laetil. The Weiris said they're holding an area beneath the alien ruins. Isa said she'd go and see about an alliance. I told them to leave me here. I'd only slow them down with these wounds. Yes, one of the women of the woods. I was taught never to trust them, but Isa thought they could help us retake Northland and keep the Reachmen out of Evermore. She might still be with them on the shore. There's an entry to the ruins there. Thank you. I hope to see you back at the camp. El Jenny's outdone herself. Another one. Curious. What do you want? She was here. She returned our sister to us, so we are in her debt. The other has a sickness within her, of an unknown kind. We will keep the sick girl away from the land, lest she spread an incurable disease through our woods. If you're curious, speak to Weiris Delphique. She's within the ruins. I keep thinking how that could have been me. Yes, the Dark Witnesses caught me while scouting the chapel. I'm in Isabeth's debt for finding me. A few moments longer, and the Reachmen may have done to me what they did to Laetil. The Dark Witnesses planted something inside of her. I'm not sure what sort of Reach magic they used to get in there, but a sickness grows in her. As I'm in Isabeth's debt, Weiris Delphique and I have been hoping to find a cure. None so far. Delphique has a final plan, but if it doesn't work, we'll know there is no cure. At least none we can create. Weiris Asteria let you in? I trust she had good reason. What drove you to seek me in this house of stone? Ah, you seek this child. She goes nowhere. She's infected and I must determine what it is she carries inside her. It's a seed for certain, though what the Dark Witnesses have cultivated in the fields of North Glen is a mystery. I've one last attempt at a cure. You're just in time to witness the results. Watch and remember what you are about to see. First, I'll expose the corruption. Look, you can see it plainly. Now to see if I can purge it. Foul creature, be gone! Well, that didn't go as planned. Disturbing, to say the least. So the Dark Witnesses would turn us all into their puppets to reinforce their army and take Evermore. We can't allow that to happen. I tried to draw out the evil, but my spell agitated it. Transformed her into one of those abominations roaming North Glen. Small wonder we've seen no prisoners. They've turned them. And as their army grows, so does the threat on the Viridian Woods. The Evermore soldiers? And why should we trust them? If we left the Viridian Woods, they'd cut down our trees in days, and mine the land with no regard for the life harbored there. Take this rune to wither the Reachmen's markers in the fields, then cut off to Reg's head. Prove yourself on our side as well, and I'll meet the captain Isabeth spoke of. She left, said she had to search the farmhouses. Are you stalling, or do you truly believe we can trust the soldiers of Evermore? 
Isabeth spoke of an alliance too before she left. Well, you can finish her work. Will you take Dureg's head or not? Luck be with you. We'll journey to the Evermore camp if you complete the job. We're closely tied to the land, so we'll know when you've been successful. Reachman effigies that Dureg conjured out of the earth. Perhaps remnants of power they left behind. They're the source of the seeds they cultivate in the fields. Destroy the markers, and you destroy the seeds. This land used to be theirs, and not so long ago. They're here to reclaim it. It's why Evermore is such a prize to them. Perhaps we'd let them remain if they didn't pose such a threat to the Viridian Woods. Reachmen know no boundaries. Whatever the Dark Witnesses are using, it consumes the victim. Had this child lived, she would have attacked. We've been observing them. Their power increases in numbers. Yes, we believe a seed is forced inside. It takes root within the heart. As you saw, any real attempt to remove them only spurs on the growth and takes the victim to the final phase. Reachman effigies that Dureg conjured out of the earth. Perhaps remnants of power... This land used to be theirs. It's empowered with weird magic. When it comes into contact with the marker, the magic will course through it, withering it to the point where nothing is left but dust. The magic will penetrate deep enough to reach the seeds it produces. If you're going to finish Isabeth's work, be careful. She's very resourceful for a city dweller. If the Dark Witnesses have her, they could easily grab you as well. The village dweller didn't make it, did she? I didn't think she would.
to go. Love of Mara, I didn't think I'd see the end of this day. Did Captain Garrowcroft, my father, send you? I know Durake's plan. He has stores of seeds he plans on using to turn the innocent into pawns for his army. You must destroy the stores. With Durake out of the way and his weapon destroyed, it will leave this army without a leader and a plan. I'm badly injured. Whatever Durake was doing to me, Probably trying to implant one of those seeds like the others. It's left me too weak. You need to go. Finish the mission without me. Besides, if he was successful, I may compromise everything. Perfect. One of Elgeny's, I bet. This will do nicely. Trying to implant me like the rest. He said he was adding me to his ranks. That I'd be the perfect weapon. And he'd watch as I attacked my own father, and my father would have to kill me. I fell unconscious from the pain moments later. I recognize it, and it's one of Elgeny's best. The poultice does more than heal. It grants invisibility. But if you engage any of the Reachmen after you use it, the spell will break. No. I only found one survivor, and the Glenmoral Weird wouldn't let her go. I found Ulmad and Bindeus dead. But Hotmi, did you find her too? I never should have left her alone. My father, that is, Captain Geyercroft, will be disappointed. You don't know him. He only acknowledges me when I'm doing something wrong. He calls me Isabeth the Impatient. <coughs> Isabeth the Ignorant. Since I disobeyed orders, I bet he's got plenty to say about me today.
Don't let that scoundrel get away! Father! Is a... Scout Isabeth, you put this company at risk by disobeying orders. Thanks to our new ally here, the Weird agreed to help us drive out the Reachmen. I hope you... Where is Delphique? What is the meaning of this? I thought as much. Captain Gearcroft, your scout is infected. Kill her if you wish to maintain this alliance. I won't kill her based on your word. Then trust your new ally's word. I'll make my own judgment. I don't take orders from you. Father, stop! So it's true. I'm infected. Garacroft would risk all for the safety of his doomed daughter. Do walls make your kind blind to reason? He should look at the bigger picture. You saw yourself what happened. It's only a matter of time before his daughter becomes a Reachman puppet. Whether they wait or kill her now, her life is over. But if they wait, so is this alliance. Truly, the Reachmen gain their strength and magicka from her scene, as do we. If anyone could reverse the effects of the seed they planted inside her, it would be us. There is no hope for a cure. This is absurd. That must be why Elgeny's poultice didn't fully heal me. I wasn't conscious for a while after they captured me. He had time to... to... Is what Weirus Delphique says true? Everything I've been through... For this? And my own father won't even acknowledge me as his daughter. But it's worth it, right? My life for an alliance that will save Evermore. I'll let Delphique know I'm ready. I'm sure she won't hesitate, and my father won't stop her. Evermore has always taken priority for him. Evermore and duty. Maybe I follow in his footsteps after all. I've made my decision, father. Isabeth, don't be foolish. You can't think straight. No, father. I've never been so clear. We're Estelphique. Do it. Now, before I change my mind. Isabel! The weird expect an alliance now after they murder my daughter in cold blood? They're lucky I don't have them all killed here and now. After what the Weird did to my daughter, the Weird has killed her without hesitation. I can't have that unpredictability among my soldiers. Isabeth was a foolish girl. I should have disciplined her better. Made her stronger. She never followed orders. I knew this way of life would get her killed. How can I possibly consent to this alliance with her blood on their hands? Yes, Evermore needs this alliance. But I need... Isabeth's sacrifice will be remembered. You've proven yourself as a great ally to Evermore. I'll agree to this alliance. Together, we'll drive out the Reachmen. Even together, my sisters and these soldiers can only prevent these Reachmen from advancing further south. Defeating the Dark Witnesses for good will require that someone goes deeper into their territory to kill the Hagraven, Yuella. With the Crows as her spies, Yuella is everywhere. But the Hagraven's physical form is assuredly deep in Reachmen-held territory. My sisters have been searching for her, but it will take time. The foul creature has wards that block weird magic. You would venture up to Jackdaw Cove? Yuella's influence has corrupted everything there. It's wretched, but if you are willing, I will not try to dissuade you. Search for my sisters near Jackdaw Cove. Perhaps with your help, Yuella can be destroyed.
I'll caution you. Don't expect a warm welcome from my sisters in the north. They are not accustomed to city dwellers in the wilds, but they need all the help they can get. Whatever it takes to rid these lands of that Hagraven. I hear we're to be allies with the city dwellers now. I suppose if it saves our home, it's for a good cause. Especially with the added bonus of ridding ourselves of the Reachmen. This alliance is foreign to us. I think we're all concerned about working together, but at least our common enemy is worth it. Self-sacrifice is rare these days. I hope Captain Gayercroft is finally proud of his daughter. Not that he wasn't. Perhaps now he'll finally show just how much she meant to him. Stendar must be in a giving mood today. You found them both and returned safely. Thanks to you, I still have a sister.